So this is section 5.2 and it's ordinary annuities and sinking funds. When you're working with an ordinary or annuity or a sinking fund, the payments are at the end. The only time they're at the beginning is if it's as beginning or annuities due, and we'll do that in another video. But for ordinary annuities and the sinking fund, payments are at the end. And um, some of these problems, the way they're set up, they'll have R equals the payment. So if we look at number 18, um, notice they're also giving us the interest rate as a decimal. Um, and N is the number of years. So we're find the future value of each ordinary annuity. Interest is compounded annually. So we are putting payments of $1,000 in at 6% for five years. And we're doing that yearly. So back to the top. And so it was Six percent for five years. We are not having a down payment or <clears throat> any amount at the beginning, but we're making payments of one thousand. They're yearly, so payments per year are once a year. Payments and compounding. When you're doing payments, these will match. Only when you're doing payments, one lump sum they don't match, as we saw in five point one. But when you're making payments, these will match. And then this is number of years of payments per year, which is one. And it will be at the end. So if we plug all of this in our calculator, and then you go up to future value and solve it, you're going to get this value. Now remember, um, it's going to come out negative because this is positive. We just dropped the negative sign. You have one's money going in, one's money going out. So it's $5,637. Find the future value. So we put a zero in future value. If the payments are made and interest is compounded as given, then determine how much of this value is from contributions and how much is from interest. So we have $1,250, which would be our payment, at 5%, compounded semi-annually for 18 years. If you look at my paper, 18 years, and it's semi-annually because we're making payments of $12.50 for twice a year. So 18 times 2. The percentage rate was 5%. We're not putting one payment down. We're making payments. So it's not one lump sum. Looking for future value and compounding per year was twice a year. 5% for twice a year. And payments at the end. Now, if we solve this, type it all in. So remember when you're typing it, app, finance, hit enter, TVM, solver, hit enter. Then you type your values 18 times 2, 5, 0, 1250, 2, oops, future value is 0. And then payments per year and compounding per year are two. I'm solving future value, alpha, and enter. And I get 71,626, which is what we got. I also want to know how much interest that we made. To find the amount of interest we made, you take um, contributions first. These contributions are your payments 
times your n. So if we say famous 1250 times n, which was 18 times 2, we actually put $45,000 in there. That's what we contributed. To find the interest, then you just subtract these two. So you take the 71626 and subtract the 45000 which is the money you put in, and you made $26,626.77 in interest. Um, let's try, let's try two more. Number 30. Okay. Determine the, <clears throat> the interest rate needed to accumulate the following amount in a sinking fund with monthly payments as given. So we're accumulating 120000 so that's our future value. We have monthly payments of 500, so that's our payments, and it's monthly, so payments are monthly, over 15 years. So let's look at the form. So payments were $500 a month. So if we made payments, monthly would be 12. If this is 12, then this is 12. Because monthly payments, compounding goes the same as payments, unless it's one lump sum. And that's why we take 15 years times this 12. We're looking for the interest rate. We're not putting any money down. We're just doing payments. And at the end, we want $120,000. Notice I put the little negative sign here because we're putting money in. We have to take money out. If you don't put one of them negative, you'll have an error. And when we highlight this and solve, we get 3.69%. Plug it in real quick. Just to <clears throat> Double check rounding. This should look like this. We were looking for the percent. Alpha enter. Oops. Notice that I forgot to make one of them negative because I was typing too quick. Make sure you use the negative and not the minus sign. And then go back up. Alpha. And we get 3.69%. Um, one more. Um, this one, we're looking for the payment. So let's look at number 32. Um, S stands for future value in some of the things in the calculator. There's a lot of formulas we're omitting by using the calculator. Um, so if you don't want to use the calculator, right, you would need to memorize all of these formulas. And we technically are only using four. No. One, two, yeah. One, two. Oh, we're only using two of these. Because we'll use the simple interest, which isn't on here. So by using the calculator, you're eliminating almost all of those. Okay, number 32. Okay. 
We have a future value of $150,000. Interest is 6% compounded semi-annually. Semi and payments are made at the end of each semi-annual period for 11 years. So we're going 11 years times payments per year. And we said that was semi-annually, so that's two, which means we're compounding also at two. We're looking for the payments. It's 6%. Um, we don't have a present value. And our future value is going to be 150000 And this said the payments were at the end. So then... If you plug this in and hit alpha and enter, you will get $4,912.11. That's everything for ordinary annuities and thinking funds.